Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Kaiser Redux in which we're playing as everyone's favorite ice nation, Iceland. Um, so we're going to try to get the nationalist route, but we've got to talk about the very beginning. Starting in 1874, Iceland had its first states of independence when Denmark granted the colony the right to home rule and a constitution. As part of Denmark, Iceland remained neutral throughout the Valkyrie. After the conclusion of the Valkyrie, Iceland joined the Middle Europa economic bloc alongside its master Denmark. This brought a period of prosperity to the island nation as Iceland could now tap into two markets for its main export, fish. The British market continued its lucrative fish imports from Iceland due to the distance between the two islands. Meanwhile, the entry of Icelandic cod into the European market became a sort of smaller additional funds to help boost Iceland's economy. What once was Iceland in 1925 and then 32. However, this economic prosperity would not last forever. The British Revolution in 1925 shattered the miracle that post Valkyrie Ireland was experiencing. As the royalists fled to various corners of the empire, the British Icelandic trade route instantly ran dry. The only close reminders of the cod trade were the royalists who fled to Canada, but they had more pressing economic issues than resuming Icelandic trade. Thus, Iceland was left wallowing in the wake of the British Revolution since Middle European, Middle European, Middle European. Oh my goodness. Economic doctrine dictated that no trade could be enacted with syndicalist countries. It is no longer. Uh, it helped put a stopgap on the massive unemployment that started to rise in the country. The Althing created the City Work Creation Scheme to put the people to work on manual labor construction projects. This worked for some time, but eventually it became a de divisive topic between the parties and the government. During the small city council on the 9th of November 1932, the council debated pulling the plug on the project. News of this reached the population who arrived in droves to ride in front of the building demanding that the scheme or the sh yeah, scheme remained in place due to the fact that the economic recession still continued to afflict Iceland. This tribe became known as the Gotoslagoren and ensured that the CWCS remained in effect for the near future of the country. Will this crisis ever end? And, and, and Iceland in 1936. Well, the past decade has been a disaster for the people of Iceland. There still remains a hope for a brighter future over the horizon. Prospective government officials have started crafting plans for large scale public works projects to provide jobs, kick starting a tourism industry, or even looking into tapping into the geothermal and hydroelectric resources that our island provides us with. Perhaps with a little assistance from Denmark, we can make these dreams come true. Perhaps the end is near. Now, right now, we have no, we can't do anything. But Black Monday now strikes the island. The economic collapse that originated in Germany now is reaching out the shores of Iceland. Already tenuous hold over the economy shattered, we have been left reeling. A total reorganization of Iceland will need to be fixed. No need to be. Uh, needed to fix this trade or this crisis. Alien economy. Oh, good God. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is not good. Um, so now we couldn't do any focuses earlier, but apparently we will begin with promise relief. Well, that's not bad. Black Monday woes. The following will bypass this focus. So that automatically happens. So promise relief is 35 days, which is pretty nice. Ready to start industrializing. Regulate agriculture. That's not bad. Uh, that's pretty good. It's pretty nice. Request a Danish bailout. Promise relief. In these times of crisis, the government and the Prime Minister should not just be locked into a back room working and planning. The Prime Minister shall take to the radio to allay the fears of the population and inspire confidence in his government. And which would be pretty nice. Black Monday woes. The waves of Black Monday have crashed onto the Iceland's shores. Our cod exports in Middle Europa has plummeted and the rest of our small economy is no better off. The first steps must be taken to rebuild our economy and sure this will never happen again. Promise release for more stability which would be good. To the power, plan the recovery, more stability would be nice as well. Oh good god, that's really bad. Um, weekly change is going way down. Um, a request a Danish bailout. Subsidize the urban population. Subsidize the rural population. Regular agriculture. Exploit natural growth. Um, how much political power are we getting there? 0.1 is not great. Unemployment sweeps the nation. Well, we're going to continue to lose stability, which does kind of suck, not going to lie. But, uh, the plot was started in 1936. The time's coming to vote over the continuation of Danish rule over Iceland. A general ineffective response to helping the plight of the people of Iceland during the recent economic crisis has shaken the faith of the people in Danish rule. The crisis for independence grows louder with every passing week. As the polls draw to close, results point to a desire. In independent Iceland. Planning the recovery. Uh, let's do encourage charitable acts. Um, oh, look at this. Independence victory. The government's public aid is simply not built for a demand of this magnitude. More of our people are setting up for aid of all kinds and show no sense of slowing. Local wealthy citizens must take a part of this burden and we shall provide incentives to make sure this happens. Independence victory. With a recent victory, a recent uh, vote, a victory of the vote for the independence from Denmark. <clears throat> the Althingi has been a rush with ministers declaring for one party or the other. The one constant is upswinging the members who are part of the Independence Party Coalition to more prosperous times. The Home Rule Party becomes elected. Icelandic independence, a day to celebrate. Look at this guy's hair. I love his hair. Hey, it's Thor's. Um, encourage charitable acts. So we'll read about these two, but planning the recovery. Iceland will never be able to have uh, the traditional economies of our fellow Nordic countries. It must capitalize on Iceland's natural resources and those of the ocean around us in order to restore Iceland's prosperity. A public site on the future of Iceland. 
had been decided in 1921 that a public site would be held in 25 years considering the continuation of the status quo, but the Danish influence meant that we ended up with the westernmost periphery of the German sphere and the economic hardship that as a result of that has pushed calls to ex expedite the public site and independence victory. The people spoken in Iceland is to become a uh, sovereign nation independent uh, from Denmark and will have no one to lean on in times of crisis but ourselves. Now only true Icelanders will determine our future, not the, our former Danish masters. Yeah, this would have been cool to do, but you know, whatever. We got things else to do. Seek new markets. That'd be nice. Celebrate Icelandic independence. An independent other thing. Oh, that's not bad. Turn inwards to improve focus. Oh, that's not bad. I like the extra political power, but we need to plan the recovery as well right now. Uh, in the meantime, what do we have here? Legislative freedoms. We still have lowering stability. Oh, good God. Uh, but with the national spirits, the city work creation scheme, the CWCS. We have the GR rights, the G rights. We have a failing economy. How great. And the public radio addresses, which is very good to have for quite a while. <coughs> Excuse us. Of course, we did lead them, so they're probably not going to want to bail us out, but whatever. Um, government jobs. More political power, though. Hurts our consumer goods. We'll create large-scale jobs for those who are employed in our country. But let's plan the recovery first. That'll be good. Signal markets would also be very good as well. Electrical, electric, electronic engineering. Also, if we, have to, we probably will have to use cons commands in this campaign, so I'm not even concerned about that. We're probably going to use cons commands. Um, anything here generic? Anything here super interesting? Not too much. Um, yeah, I want to help with this weekly stability, so regulate agriculture. Oh, we need to expand industry first, though. Uh, Black Monday has shown that Iceland's economy cannot remain a one trick pony. We should start planning and investing in factors to make us less reliant on importing finished goods and expand our exports beyond fish. The austerity budget. As the markets begin to hike their price, we must return inwards and try to reduce our reliance on imports from elsewhere. Well, I'm not sure this has anything for us to do, but hummock studies. Scientists continue to study the effects that these grassy bumps or hummocks have on the soil. Most. Experiments turn up with no meaningful results, but people who have lived near these features describe a stronger feeling of well-being and claim that they fall all ill with less frequency. If it works, it works. So we broke from Denmark. We need to have the United Union of Britain to win the Cod War. So we go socialist. To do the last focus on Ireland's tree about trade. Then to expand fishing zones focus. So we'll do all this stuff here. And we'll need a North Atlantic trading stuff. So this one, social conservatives, social conservatives. Secure trade with these guys. Have them win the Cod War. Canadian trade. So we'll see what about that. So have them go start the last focus. Expand fishing zones. Focus. Expand fishing zones. Focus. No. So, da -da -da. And then decisions appear. Cool. Austerity budget. It doesn't seem like anything here. A small austerity budget. Um, a moderate here to austerity. Well, we're here to piss people off anyway, so. Uh, moderate. Gonna hurt us? Well, whatever. Doesn't really help us out that much anyways, but whatever. Bullish military seizes control. Plan the recovery, of course. Expand the industry. Regulate agriculture. Iceland has excellent climate for farming with its long days and lack of pests. In spite of this, our agricultural production is rather low due to the limited amount of that of land that is being able to that is able to be worked with the rocky terrain. We must ensure the land is not used carelessly for little gain, of course. Who must be good to do as well? Why aren't you Danish bailout exploit natural resources? I like doing this one too. Iceland is blessed with abundant natural resources. Our ocean provides fish. Our land gives us crops and animals, and our rivers can give us power for our nation. If we wish to bring prosperity to our island, we must exploit these to the fullest extent. Purchase new fishing vessels and a black money. Expand fishing regions. Yeah, that'd be good to do, yeah. Purchase new fishing vessels, too. The question of fund allocation. As the nation is thrown into great economic crisis, the people cried out in a request for aid. Um, our coffers are very light, so I'll only be able to send a token gesture to one side. Wish you would help. Rural areas? I kind of want to go with urban areas. Growth. Construction speed. Base. I'm going to go with urban areas for now, too. Um, so yeah, there's that. And planning the recovery as much as we can. We still actually get more than one, one first time political power every day, which is pretty nice, actually. Um, we have nothing else here that we can really do yet, but you know what, that's okay. Well, we will end up doing loyalty to England as well. Expand the industry, of course. Regulate that. Exploit natural resources and food drives would be quite good to do as well. As well as seek new markets. Black money is not just taking money out of the pockets of Icelanders, but also that putting me on the brink of starvation. Without the ability to buy food for the families. We should launch food drives across us and ensure that no one dies an unnecessary death at the hand of starvation. Seek new markets. The middle Europa market is too restricted for a nation as isolated as Iceland, while well, may work on the continent due to their proximity to each other. 
Iceland requires fewer restrictions on the ability to resume trade with the closer neighbors in Canada and the British Isles. And we'll be leaving it Middle Europa here, of course. As a result of our membership of Middle Europa, we became incredibly integrated into the bloc. Such, trade in, such as in trade and mutual defense, these agreements no longer stand. The last of them have been annulled by a diplomatic agreement with the German Empire today, and we're once again a free nation. Why do we even sign up for half of this? And we're going to request a Danish bailout. As all the aid and investment we've made in the economy and our people have stretched our budget to the limit. Our only choice is crawling back to Denmark for aid. We can only hope that they take pity on us. And of course, we read about hydroelectric power. But do we? Maybe not. Hydroelectric dams will allow uh, power to our society for cheap and reduce our coal imports. Most of our drawing up plans for the dams across the nation that can also double as public work projects for unemployed workers. Because you need to do this one so that you can do uh, efficient farming methods. <clears throat> Tractors and synthetic fertilizers will be the keys to using every bit of farmland to its fullest potential. Educating farmers about these advancements and encouraging their adoption must be a priority. And then you can probably expand fishing industry. Our fishermen are wandering further than ever to fish and wish to go beyond our territorial waters. We should look into making agreements with other countries or start ignoring other territorial waters. Those and fishes, of course, and a Black Monday will definitely get there someday. But uh, I think, you know, as much as I want to do Canadian trade, I think it might be best because we will go this way English trade. Proximity is a key factor in trade. The British Isles lies closest port for us to sell our goods. Let us seek to resume the trade that our two islands have shared for centuries. A North Atlantic trading partnership. For the exit from the middle of the Europa economic bloc, we must form new trade agreements with our neighbors in the Atlantic. Expand our fishing industry to rid us of Black Monday. Because right now, we can just invest in ourselves. I've got one milli, one civvy, and one um, dockyard already. So we're going to go with another civvy for now. Just because we had one. <coughs> Excuse me, but that was taken up by the consumer goods, which sucks. So I will get another city, hopefully, as well, with our 1.12 political power every single day. And it's also going up by 0.7, which is actually not that slow. That's actually pretty darn good. Uh, we're going to lose 75 more political power. God dang it. That's going to really, really suck. But I did grab Guns and Butter Doctor to get more daily army XP games, to get more division organization, better supply consumption, even though we don't even have a literal division. I figured, you know, this is the best all around one, especially for that organization. You can get more attack and defense, but organization is so key to doing well. Um, and this is a militia division, which I hate. I hate militia. I just want to make one. Organization is okay. Manpower usage is okay. You know. But we're going to request a Danish bailout, so we'll get some hydroelectric power. Uh, oh, they sent final control relief, even though we went independent. The government of Denmark considered pleased and responded with grace. They have granted a very, a very generous sum of money to kickstart relief programs to get our nation back on its feet. Thank you, Denmark, even though we got rid of you. Geyser donation. Iceland is home to several hot water geysers, which have a tendency to draw crowds due to the beautifully explosive nature. Previously, this geyser was hidden away and used as a business venture to earn money from any who wished to watch the geyser erupt. Inspired by the charity of the nation, the owners removed the fence and donated the geyser to the Icelandic people in perpetuity, a most generous donation as we subsidize the urban population. The urbanization of Iceland is our long-term best interest, so we shall focus the majority of our public aid to our biggest cities, namely Reykjavik, where our aid can make the biggest impact. Expand fishing industries. Our fishermen are wandering further than ever to go. Oh, the American Civil War. Oh. To go beyond our territorial waters. We should look into making agreements with the other countries or start ignoring other territorial waters because why not? And then we can do expand fishing regions, which we definitely have to do. Uh, but we need to purchase new fishing vessels, which I don't understand why this focus tree is shaped like this. It doesn't make any sense that, okay, so you have to do this one, so then you can do this one, so then you can come over here. I guess to maybe make it more condensed, I suppose. That's probably the reason, but again, I don't know. As uh, so we are so barely getting any more weekly stability, but whatever. We should assist our fishermen in acquiring new fishing boats so that can fish further from our coast and catch more than ever. Um, and I do want to finish this part of the focus tree as much as possible, so. Uh, but expand fishing stuff too. Purchase new fishing vessels. We should assist our fishermen in acquiring new fishing boats so that can fur fish further out from our coast and catch more fish than before. Loaves and fishes. As we have a really thick peace commerce. Oh, fourth Balkan War. Collapse of Middle Africa. Ah, that makes sense. Our initiatives to improve our agricultural and fishing industries have been a massive success. Food prices have dropped below pre-Black Monday levels. We can only hope that this will allow prosperity to return to our nation in the end of Black Monday, maybe someday. Uh, while the Black Monday has brought much suffering to our, to our home, it's also brought opportunity like never before. Our economy has weathered the storm and recovered, and many paths lie before our small uh, land of opportunity. Now, we're going to expand in the North Atlantic. This will likely draw the ire of those in the British Isles, but we'll need the extra space to rebuild our economy. Which would be very good for consumer goods. Quite good. And of course, we'll expand our Greenland, Greenland next. Well, not quite as profitable as our southern fishing region, we can more easily sway the Danish to allow us to fish off the coast of Greenland. But we've already gone ahead and done celebrate Icelandic independence. Iceland, thousand years. Iceland, thousand years. An eternal small flower with a tear in its eye that praises its god and then dies. An independent Althing. Althing. 
or is Althing or Alting? I'm not sure. It's the oldest surviving parliament in the world and has existed in one form or another since 1930, except for one hiatus in the 19th century. Time has come for the Althing to once again uh, to govern Iceland unshackled from foreign rule. Because right now we still can't do end of Black Monday. We need to have a healthy economy. So maybe government jobs might be it. We'll see what happens. Our public aid has been effective in preventing our population from starving and going homeless, but cannot continue forever. We must put, away, put our people back to work, and we shall create jobs in government to employ them, even if that means the workload for them will be relatively shallow. So we'll see about that. We've got three days left. We'll get. I really want to do this because it gives 0.25 political power, which is really nice. That's a crap ton of political power, because right now we only get one, which sucks. But now we get 1.09, which is great. Public works projects. If there isn't enough work for the people of Iceland, we will create some. We should improve our roads and infrastructure across Iceland and tie our country closer together and allow goods to travel across our island with ease. So there's that one, and there's that one. Uh, uh, always false, connect the island. Um, loyalty to England, King in Ottawa. So we gotta go through all the focuses regardless first. So we'll get that one done, and let's go and expand towards Greenland. Iceland expands fishing zones. With our recent change of policy, there are fishermen have a much larger area to trawl fish from. It's expected to increase our haul by large margins, so that end, our merchants have already started looking towards their old trade partner in the British Empire to see if there's a possible economic deal we can make. But perhaps it would be best to fully placate the, the Empire or the Cynicalist? What a bountiful catch! I wonder if that will enter ever, or that ever uh, hurt us ever if we did that. With the supply of cod rising, we are now able to expand our exports, which I think for Lee, truly is a great, great thing. Of course, it might just be easier if we just wait and just click to skip the COD war with the desired outcome since Kaiser Reich made it RNG based. I soon receive multiple trade offers. Um, with our expansion, the powers on both sides of the Atlantic are vying to get their piece of the cake. But the Canadians and the Cynicals have made overtures to make new deals for a growing supply of COD. Which side should we trade, create a trade agreement with? Canada or the Union of Britain? So we have to go social side the UB win the COD war. We can deal with the Union of Britain. Um, maybe Union of Britain? We'll see what happens. COD deal signed. Well, upon the signing of the deal, the unions have agreed to look past their intrusion upon their waters in exchange for giving them a significant portion of their new catches. This will allow safe environment for fishermen to Atlantic allies. Hmm. Oh, end of Black Monday. That'd be nice. Canada approaches with a new deal. Not willing to be pushed out of Iceland over a business deal, the Canadians have approached us with a new deal for COD sales. They agreed to pay a much higher price for the COD compared to our offer from the English. Should we switch sides and go with the Canadian deal or stay committed to our English deal? Our allegiance lies with England. Ah, to a brighter future with Canada. I like that quite a bit. But we do need to get our loyalty to England because we do want to get cooed, so. Oh. Iceland joins international. People's Unity Party becomes a ruling election. Oh, okay. Then a Black Monday. Well, Black Monday has brought much suffering to our home and has also brought opportunity like never before. Our country has weathered the storm and recovered, and many paths lie before our small land of opportunity. And now we're, we have loyal to England. With England's victory in the Cod War, we haven't per we've been persuaded to align with them and create a syndicalist government as at their discretion. But who are they at war with? Are you already at war with somebody? Oh, Ireland. Uh, no, we're good. I don't want to lose any stability that we already have. All right, so with that in mind. Um, Nationalist Rebellion. Oh, we saw this one. Strong Althing, which is good. It seems our socialist government was not as popular as we thought. Almost unexpectedly, a group of nationalists began to take power. All across the island, nationalist militia were moving into important areas, and in Reykjavik, much of the city has become a battleground. While well, much of the lower levels of government have temporarily relocated, most of the top government officials remain in the city despite the danger. As civilians scurry for cover, more fighting men pour into the city. It's anyone's guess who will come on top. Socialist boys have been cut. <coughs> Excuse me, and the people's will is victorious. Well, let's take a look here, see. Look here, see. Look, see. You know, we might have to do this twice. English engineers. Forming the new cabinet. We definitely need to do that. Um, you know, as we create the new government, we must decide which party will be the leader of a new constitution. You know what? Let's save. And then we'll see what happens. Reducing our austerity budget. It has been several years since a disastrous crash of black money that threw our struggling economy into shambles. To that end, it's time to consider cutting back on the austerity budget that we've imposed on our people. Times have seen recent improvement in the situation that allows us to start slowly reducing the severity of our budget. People will surely appreciate the cutback, which we do. So we our current budget. Well, we're a bunch of nationalists right now, so we're going to reduce it. Small austerity budget. Let's look at minus 10%. I don't know, kind of like where we're at. Say our current budget. You know, that seems kind of nice for now. So we finished up end of Black Monday, which is very nice. Very, very, very awesome to get that. 
to steer the roads. Infrastructure devices has never been at the top priority as most activities took place on the coast where the boat was a better form of transportation. As I said, attempts to modernize a backwards infrastructure really shows its age. Well, a few roads that exist on the island are only seasonal and are in extremely poor condition. we got to do something about this. But we are doing prepare for site for industry. The area near Rejavik is a prime candidate for an expansion of industry on our island. It just needs a little work before the construction can begin. And some L-word hydroelectric station. The Laxadoral... Uh, Lux, Luxar Dalur Valley is a prime candidate for the construction of a new hydroelectric power plant. Awesome. We, I do want to do warp propaganda, but I do want to get to partial mobilization as well. That would be, also be very good. As much as I want another civvy or military factory or expander industry, which costs basically 60 political power and 200 manpower, but austerity budget not touched, why should we revisit our situation? Our current policy is to keep our current level of austerity. While people may not like this decision, it helps keep the economy running, but our next decision should be where we should revisit this. Six months? Let's go back to one year. One year is a good time, so. Um, yeah. As much as I want to spend manpower to get this, because getting a civvy is really nice. Getting the tip of a new factory would be very nice. Um, I don't know. We'll wait. Our final salary, if you want to that, please go ahead. I really want to get to early mobilization, as well as get to volunteer only. We need more manpower. 5,000. If this was Old World Blues, that would be okay, but this is not Old World Blues. Um, so, yeah. Build even more than or at least build maybe slightly faster. Public works projects. That's great that those are done. Senate rule, connect the islands, but we're now we're stuck in Fall Koldewi. Fall Koldewi was the German codename for the Nationalist coup against the Socialists. The Nationalists, with generous German leadership and equipment, had managed to pull it off too. Now, however, the Nationalists lay in uncharted waters almost literally. They are, they, they are newly minted politicians at the head of a new nation and coalition just as likely to tear itself apart rather than elect a new leader. Despite the inevitable tumult of the future, if they can overcome the problems, there are balanced futures ahead of them. Nice. Yeah, I've only 13% here, which is not very good. The Blessed War. Despite our recent victory, there is still much to be done in regards to the socialist poison. While they are out of power, the English and their socialist puppets have retreated into the countryside to resist our takeover. Which land lies outside our grasp of the government control, and government control has shrunk to cities and roads connecting them. So, to liberate our lands from socialist tyranny and finally drive the English taint from our soul, we shall engage in our first conflict, a war blessed by God to save his children from debauchery and sin. Now, we got to figure out which way we want to go. Moderate nationalists? The center nationalists are the beginnings of a new state with the radical nationalists. I like being a radical personally. Because that's a lot more fun. But for Cold Dewey, today we have received a message from our backers in Berlin. They congratulate us wholeheartedly on our victory. They have also taken the time to uh, reach out, uh, to, uh, remind us of our promises, uh, to bring us and further into the Reichspact. While the German guns were valuable, and even more were sent with this message, already resent is voting against Berlin. We're proud Icelanders. We threw off the lapdogs of Copenhagen, but not just become lapdogs of Berlin. For the time, however, we must bide our time and play nice. Who knows what opportunities the future may bring, besides we could always use our guns. We can join them, but at the same time, do we want to join them? If we join them, that would put us at war with international eventually, which is fine with us, honestly. Um, I, I want, though, Sweden, Norway, and Denmark in with us. And we're, to be honest, we're going to use cons commands. We kind of have to. Build the Miklabrau Road. We're going to leave the oh, roads of Iceland. Our series of twisting, muddy, single lane trails that are relics of the past. Steps must be taken to improve these roads while Iceland reaches the modern world. Um, how close are we? We're not that close. We're gathering the nationalists. I'll take. We can always leave, right? Because I definitely want them. So, because I want to unite all the Nordics people under one nation or one flag. So we'll see. For now, I guess you know. I guess I suppose we can leave, right? So, we should never bow again. We're a bunch of nationalists, though. You know what? We'll do this for now. We don't need the political power. We'll do it for now. We'll join the Reich's Pact at the moment. But we'll see. So I guess I'll, you know, I'll leave it up to you guys. Should we go with the moderate nationalists? Should we go with the rise of the Nationalist Party? Or should we go with the beginnings of a new state? Or a new saga? Let me know in the comments below. Um, but now that we've chosen a line with the German Empire, for now. An opportunity has risen to join the Economic Pact of the Central European Economic Union. Sure, to Middle Europa. <clears throat> Though this pact is dominated by Germany's interests and forces several obligations on its member states, it also provides several benefits, easier to a German mutual defense in particular. Should we offer to join the Middle Europe sphere and accept these obligations? That's fine, we'll join it for now. Join the society for now, too. Um, as time goes on, we'll just do what we do. But here's all the stuff we can do. Restore the Thing Velayer, the Gildoro Guru system, honor the law speaker, the Free State Restored, uh, the Center Branch, you, get, uh, you can get both of those. Well, you know, land, nation, language, dealing with Astandio, uh, Icelandic legions, Ahel de Alsher Yargod, our Norwegian roots, witness the rise of Northmen, sounds like fun. Of course, for this one, we have the beginnings of a new saga, the land of Thul, which is cool. Uh, bringing Ariosophy to Iceland. Uh, 
Horobalot to make Thor proud, founding the As Asatrarfelgalagio. As you can tell, I'm not very Nordic at all. So let me know which route you think we should go, because I'm open to what you guys suggest. Well, we don't believe in democracy on the channel, but I do take it into consideration your opinion. Construction speed will remove the third political power. Build a road. Wait, you don't even get a road? Wait, what's the point of that then? I'd rather just do all this stuff down here. We could use more war support too. Then again, I do want to go to partial mobilization as well, so. Like, yeah, I think the Nationals out there. Up until now, the Nationals had no real leader, and that was fine. There were many things to be done after all, and political factionalism fell by the wayside. However, with their power secure and normalcy returning, arguments and fights are breaking out in the coalition. Driven to this, a new odd thing has been called to sort out the nationalist cause and decide what course we will take moving forward. So the largest faction of moderates, led by the traditional conservatives like Thor Thors and Sven Bjornsson, uh, Bjornsson yeah, who feels the socialists were obviously too left-leaning, but the other factions are too nationalistic. The second largest are the constitutional rule faction, led by Bjorn Bjornsson, who also led the nationalist militia during the coup. If you Iceland should be totally free from Copenhagen and draw closer to Germany for protection, a third faction is both the smallest and most radical, led by a writer, Elde S. Kvaren, and both Helmut and Wolf Rotke. They want Iceland to return to the old ways of the Viking Guild. As the three factions gather and begin to discuss the future of the nation now hangs in the balance, after days of fire debate, a victory becomes clear, and it is the traditional conservatives, Bjornsson and his nationalists, uh, which are the autocrats, because right now we're authoritarian democrats, and Elde and the rightists, which lead the national populace. But, you know what? I will leave that up to you guys. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we'll figure out which way we will go and turn Iceland into a Viking, hope, hope Vikings paradise. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.